Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Now my friend's little girls requested this one, I've had loads of requests for it, and you can guess what it is, how to draw a unicorn. So we're going to be producing this beautiful unicorn just here with this beautiful multicoloured mane and stars on the rump. Anyway, what you're going to need is some plain white paper, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, and also your choice of colours. So I'm doing this in colouring pencils, but you can use crayons, felt tips, anything you like. And I've chosen some pastel colours here. Da -da -da. Anyway, if you like drawing animals, don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw a horse galloping, which you'll find just here. Anyway, so let's get started. Okay, so to start off, let's draw an oval in pencil right in the middle of the page. Draw it quite lightly, because we're going to be rubbing this out soon. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a kind of oval shape. And roughly the same height as the oval, we're going to do a circle just next to it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to draw around something, that's absolutely fine. So there we have a circle next to the oval. Okay, so coming up from this oval shape, I'm going to be drawing a triangle. You don't have to use a ruler, just something like that. And then we're going to be drawing another triangle. So using this as the base of this well, the second triangle, just drawing one like that. Okay, now for the front leg, we're just gonna draw stick legs for the time being, just so that you know roughly where the leg's going to go. Draw a line coming down, and then the hoof. And then another one here line coming down, and then hoof, and then at the back, so it's slightly bent, line coming down, hoof like that, and then the hind leg, coming down like that, I'm just going to bring this hoof up a little bit. There we go. Okay, now onto the next stage. Now if you want, you can carry on doing this in pencil, but I'm going straight to pen. So this is gonna be the fun part. We're gonna add all the features. So where this line is in the middle of this second triangle, I'm gonna draw a big eye. So just draw a circle. I'm gonna draw a little circle inside and another one as well. Just like that. Let's add some eyelashes. And that's gonna be the eye. So, coming down, we're going to need the unicorn's cheek. And then coming up like so. Okay. Now we're going to do the ear. So, towards the top of this triangle, I'm going to draw a shape like that. And then the back of the ear, like so. We're going to draw part of the forelock coming forward like this. like that. Now we're going to draw the unicorn's horn. Coming round like that. Then we're going to draw the other part of the forelock peeping out from behind the horn. And then we're going to draw the front bit. Just like that. It's taking shape now, isn't it? So we just need the other ear just peeping out from behind over there. And then some swirls going up the unicorn's horn. Let's give it a little mouth and nostrils so it can breathe. And then we're going to do the incredible mane. So you can have fun with this. You can change it. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. So one part of the mane. Another part. Okay, now we're going to draw the unicorn's neck. So coming round, 
do about there. So now we're going to draw the leg of the unicorn. So coming around, bring it down. like so, up and round. Give it a little hoof and that's that part. Now we're going to actually start off with the back, the hind leg. So following the circle round part the way, bring it round, it bends, Draw with the hoof and then bring it round again. And up like that. Just like so. So we're going to join up the two legs. So following this oval shape, we're just going to go up like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the front leg. So Bringing it round, draw the hoof, just like so, bring it round like that. Okay, it's starting to take shape. Now, okay, so this circle here, in this top left hand corner of the circle, that's where we're going to start the tail. So we draw a nice gigantic big tail with lots of volume, bring it round and back. Now we're going to carry on this tail all the way down. Just like that. Keep going. all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do the back now. I'm going to join up the oval shape and the circle, just like so. And then we're going to draw the, uh, the other hind leg peeping out from behind. Make sure that this hind leg's hoof is in line with this one. It's just slightly higher than when I originally put it. Just there. like so. Okay, now I'm going to add a few little stars on the rump. One, two, and a third one. Okay, so now it's time to rub out all these pencil marks and we will start colouring in. Okay, so now the fun part. I've got quite a few pastel colours here, so I'm going to be colouring in the unicorn's mane and the hooves. So let's start off with the hooves. Let's do this a nice yellow colour. And then I'm going to colour in the stars in yellow. And I'll do one part of the mane in yellow as well. Now you can use anything to colour this in. You can use felt tip pens, crayons, anything that you wish. Okay, let's do this one in yellow as well. There we go. Okay, I think we're going on to some pink. We have to have some pink in here. So, let's draw the other part of the Horse is forelock. Sorry, not horse. Unicorn. <laughs> I'm so used to drawing horses. They are quite similar though, aren't they? Okie dokie. So that's there. And also very lightly, I'm just going to draw little round circles just to give the unicorn a little kind of blush cheek. Just like that. Okay, I think we'll have another pink bit here. 
tail. Again, this is a super idea if you want to make a birthday card or something for a friend. They look great on cards. Okay. Just like that. Now I'm going to go for some blue. So the other side of the unicorn's forelock. It's going to be in blue. Should we do? Let's do this one in blue. Go. There we go. Okay, next colour is going to be this lilac colour. least I'm gonna do a green there we go there we go and then we have our finished unicorn you can add to this if you want to draw the unicorn standing on a cloud. Just draw some cloud underneath her. Or you can just leave it white like I did. You can have a rainbow in the background, stars, whatever you like. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit subscribe and like. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.